Matchup. Dynas Berzins with the answer. And it hits into the antenna. Not exactly the way you want to start out. A good crowd has assembled. The Band of Wolves is on hand to try to fire up the fans. Student section behind the Ramblers, standing and jumping, making a lot of noise. They're literally stacked to the rafters here at Alumni Gym today. Wow. A serving error for BYU to start out. Joe Kaliamoko with some problems as well. So each team has failed to get a serve in here to start the matchup. This one glances off the top of the net, but we will have action for the first time today, and it's put down to the floor for the first time. Alex Dupron with a kill for BYU. Dupron, a 6'5 junior out of Valley Center, California. The Cougars are in the blue. Over on the serve attempt. And a back set. As Joe Smalzy is a little wide on his attempts. BYU with a 3 to 1 advantage here in the opening set. The Cougars are 9 and 2. They, of course, coming out of Utah here to Chicago today. Just the second time ever that BYU has visited Loyola. The Ramblers, in fact, have never knocked off BYU. The Cougars are 4-0 against Loyola all time. Second serving error of the contest. Our officials in the contest. Justin Basofsky is in the chair. Jim Casella down in front of us. He is the down referee today. Mike Bunting serving for the Ramblers, trailing 4-3 here in the opening set of play. High and deep into the back row, handed by DePron. The right side is set up for Rob Stoll. Stoll with 146 kills in the 11 matches this season for BYU. One of two players with over 100 kills. Taylor Sander is the other. Cuts from the set position. A red shirt senior out of Whitefish Bay, Wisconsin. Eric DeLeghi, the red shirt sophomore out of Orland Park. His role has begun to increase for the Ramblers after appearing in only one match last season. Little bit behind the charging DePron. Blocked back at the Ramblers. And Dynas Berzins. Knots the score at five. We get a look at the Loyola bench on this Friday night. Serve still belongs to Deligi. The Ramblers are there in the middle again. Hudson Thompson for Loyola record the block. It's the Ramblers lead for the first time. BYU scored the first point. The Ramblers evened it at one. And then consecutive points for BYU put them ahead. They have led up until this point. And now they have tied it up again. Kevin Sagers nodding the score. And he's dropping back in front of some of the crowd off the top of the net and a little miscommunication between the Ramblers. Tommy Becker and Joe Smalzer kind of left looking at each other and leaving an open area on the floor leading to an ace. Kevin Sagers serving. And the Ramblers will not be able to chase it down. It is an 8-6 advantage. Head coach of the Ramblers, Shane Davis. He's in his eighth year, the winningest coach in Loyola history. Recorded his 150th victory on January 22nd. That young man you saw moments ago was the head coach of BYU. The interim head coach, Rob Nielsen. Four straight points for BYU. Prompts a timeout for the Ramblers in the first set of play. It's 9-6 on the Horizon League Network. 
Loyola Rambler Athletics is brought to you by McDonald's, Loyola University Health System, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois, U.S. Cellular, Chipotle, The Double Tree Hotel, Chicago North Shore, J.B. Alberto's Pizza, Biga and Associates, Yellow Book, State Farm Insurance, Rico, Caputo Cheese Market, Loyola University Bookstore, Vienna Beef, Warehouse Direct, Hoogie, Honda, Mazda, and Volkswagen, Frito-Lay. Caputo Cheese Market has just the cheese you're looking for. With over 1,000 cheeses from around the world, Caputo Cheese Market supplies only the finest and freshest cheeses at wholesale price. Caputo Cheese Market also offers a full-service deli, a sausage shop specializing in homemade sausages. The market also has a focaccia that sells pastries, cannolis, cookies, and more, plus specialty food items from Europe. Caputo Cheese Market is located at 1931 North 15th Avenue in Melrose Park, just north of North Avenue on 15th in Melrose Park. Opening set of play here on the Horizon League Network, a 9-6 lead for BYU. Yes, the fans are in the rafters here at Alumni Gym. Following five straight points, a timeout for Loyola. And a quick serving error for BYU. We'll hand it back to the Ramblers. Early numbers. Loyola hitting 500 here in the first set. Four kills and an error on six attempts. BYU, three kills and an error on six tries. Both teams have had their difficulties with serving, that's for sure. A 10-7 BYU lead with Foodie Tavana serving. Back set for Hutz, leading the way for Mike Bunting. Kevin Sagers receiving the serve. Powerful attempt. Hammered back and put down by Bunting. Loyola has been ranked as high as 14th this season. In the ABCA poll, BYU, as we mentioned, currently second. They were ranked fifth in the preseason. Ramblers are 5-1 and one at home this year. Had won 22 in a row prior to last weekend. Wide open spaces for Rob Stoll, not from some country man. Set over by BYU, the Ramblers directing traffic, Bunting will try again, and BYU's in the net. Steve Thompson out of Oak Park, California, a junior for Loyola, serving from the back row. Attacking DePron. What a block. How about Joe Smallser at the net? Tied up at 11. We played a 25, a change this year in men's volleyball. It followed suit with the women playing to 25 now rather than 30. DePron way too long. Didn't get enough follow through. And the Ramblers lead again. There's Shane Davis. 151 up, 58 down. And this is eighth season with the Ramblers. Mentioned that 150th victory. It was against Lindenwood right here at Alumni Gym. Three Ramblers in the net. Stoll has it sent back from whence it came. He'll try again. Diving attempt. Trying to get up from his knees is Burzins, and the Ramblers will not get it over. Valiant effort, however, for Loyola. You know, not to be lost in the shuffle here, there's a lot of BYU fans around us, specifically behind me here, courtside at Alumni Gym. A serving error for DePron. Rob Nielsen will call over Jim Cazella to talk briefly. (laughs) 
Tough spot for BYU. Kept it from going off of the floor, but Sagers hit it too far, and we've got a timeout for BYU. 14-12, Loyola on top in the first set on the Horizon League Network. Alumni Jim the site. Men's volleyball action Friday night. Tim Calderwood with you on the Horizon League Network. Loyola with a 14-12 advantage. The Ramblers hitting 60%. Seven kills, one error, and ten attempts here in the opening set of play. We've already seen five ties and three lead changes. Mike Bunting with three kills. Eric Deligi with two for Loyola. Rob Stoll with three of the five for BYU. Kind of a short serve. Diving and out of the reach of Octavio Souza. Fifteen thirteen. Mike Bunting, the junior. Put it in. The linesman are right on top of it. Called it in. To the chagrin of the BYU bench. A three-point edge. It's 16-13. The largest lead of the contest for Loyola. A set up. Fudi Tavana. And he'll single-handedly provide some momentum for BYU. Rob Stoll twirling the ball, leading his way ahead up the right edge of the floor. The Ramblers set up, bunting from the back row, attacks. In the middle, powered home by Tivana. Well, the Cougars have been looking for Foodie Tivana to come up with that second option after Stowell here in the opening set. They have a chance to tie it. Attacking the libero, Tommy Becker. Back set and a block. Sagers and Tavana have knotted the score. And a timeout for Shane Davis. 16 all in the first set on the Horizon League Network. Shane Davis spending his second timeout here in the first set, tied at 16. He watched as the Ramblers held a 16 to 13 lead and it evaporated. Three straight points for the Cougars. Ranked number two in the country have tied it up, but a serving error will once again put the Ramblers in front. We have a substitution. Kyle Exline. A senior setter out of Oak Lawn, Illinois. He will step back and serve for the first time with the Ramblers leading. Exline racing ahead and a powerful serve. Bouncing up into the band of wolves. I don't think the trumpet players were expecting to be involved in the action today. Tied at 17, Kevin Sagers. Towards Becker in the back, stepping up his bunting, and he knocks it into the third row. Off B.J. Hiapo. Give him credit for the assist. The beautiful thing about the home for the Ramblers here at Alumni Gym, the intimacy of the setting. Fans are right on top of the action. And as we mentioned, they're hanging over the rafters here today. Working to the left side, it's blocked back at the Ramblers. They'll try Berzins again. Once more, it's swatted back. Berzins again. Blocked at him, and a lift. Ryan Boyce out of Huntington Beach, California. Sophomore setter. Replacing Foodie Tavana. Boyce off the ticker tape and down. That was quick. Boyce only in to serve, didn't do his job. Dinas Perzins with the honors for the Ramblers. He was slated a red shirt this year. 
But the Ramblers needed some help in the back row. And guess who they turned to? Dynaspurs ends. He's played in nine sets this year. Jumped into the starting lineup against Purdue Fort Wayne. And he commits a serving error here. He's played in the last two matches as a starter for the Ramblers. Joe Kaliakamoa with a serve. Managed to dig it out off the rafters. That's a double hit. Kaliakamoa knocked it off the rafters, and then he was the only one in position to hit it again. Peter Jositis entering for the Ramblers, who do have a host of fans congregated tonight. Off the back, that still counts, it's legal. Off Deligi's back, never hit the floor. Ramblers are out of position, but they recover the left-handed go from Smallzer. Burt stepping up as bunting. And the crowd is feeling it here in the first set with Loyola on top, 22-19. And Rob Nielsen watching his team trail by three for the second time in the set. We'll take another stoppage. This is the Horizon League Network. The student section chanting LU. The host Ramblers on top of number two BYU, 22-19, and just missed the spot with a serve. Attacking the linesman, in fact. The back pedal out of the way. Loyola hitting 42% in the opening set. BYU just 136. I think Shane Davis would take that percentage. The question is, can they continue defensively to keep BYU out of sorts? It certainly looks like it. Eric Deligi. The Ramblers are one away from a set point. Joe Smallzer is serving. Powerful. Hutz sets it up. Oh, baby. Eric Deligi was in perfect position, and he pounds fists with his teammates. It's a set point. The crowd will come to their feet at Alumni Gym, 24-20. Iapo handles the serve. BYU looking to stay alive. Hutz back towards Bunting. He finished it. BYU went up expecting a powerful attack. And Bunting played it off of the blockers as the Ramblers win the opening set at home, 25-20. Set number two comes your way in moments on the Horizon League Network.